Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at all the new vehicles, supercars, helicopters, and more that are going to be arriving in just a short couple of days in the Criminal Enterprises. So we've got artwork, screenshots, and trailer footage that show off all these brand new vehicles. We'll be diving into them in this video today. Let's actually begin with the artwork. And we're actually going to start in the top right. This is going to be our brand new Pegasi supercar. And one of the things that this reveals about the vehicle, a couple things. The first is the name. The name of the vehicle is going to be Terrano or Terrano, however you might pronounce it. We can also see a little bit more customization there in terms of the hood and the scoop we see, as well as customization on the front bumper, lots of carbon fiber, sort of a neon outer glow. And you can also see how those nice doors open in the traditional Lamborghini style, which is exactly what we're looking at here in case you guys were wondering what vehicle this was. This is actually based off of the Lamborghini Countach LPI 804. It's the exact same vehicle we saw in this screenshot right here. The first one that Rockstar gave us. So again, just speculating, we know this is going to be a supercar. It's a two-seater. It's going to be on the Legendary Motorsports site. I wonder how expensive this guy is going to be. Now, moving on to the bottom left-hand side of the artwork, you can see we have a brand new Benefactor vehicle right here. It's looking like this is going to be a two-seater sports car that's going to be a roofless variant. If you guys are wondering what this one is based off of in real life, it's actually based on the Mercedes McLaren SLR Sterling Moss, which is definitely a fan favorite. I know a lot of people are looking forward to this. We also see this vehicle a little bit in the trailer, which I'll definitely be sure to point out. But those are the two vehicles that can be found on the artwork. Like our other Pegasi supercar, I also speculate that this will be available on the Legendary Motorsports site. Now let's move on to the screenshots that Rockstar provided on the Newswire. We're gonna begin with this yellowish green vehicle right here. A lot of people in my first video started to get excited about this car. And it looks like this one is going to be based off of the Dodge Monaco. And it looks like this Dodge Monaco is also going to be one of the two new Amani Tech vehicles that are gonna be arriving which has upgrades like the remote control, missile lock on jammer, stuff like that. So overall, the car we're looking at here looks like a 70s sedan with the front end of a 1977 to 78 Dodge Monaco. We can see that this is going to be a four seater, likely in the muscle car category. So this means it's gonna be pretty menacing, that's for sure. You can see some of the upgrades on there like the upgraded grill, the tape over the headlights, the giant spoiler on the back. You can also see that it has armor plating and a fun livery on there, as well as hood upgrades. It also has an updated skirt and front bumper option too, so you can see lots of customization being made to this vehicle. And we actually see it again in the trailer, which we'll take a look at in a second, where it looks maybe a little bit more natural. Because this is based off the Dodge Monaco, I'm going to say this is probably going to be a Bravado vehicle. Again, it'll also likely be featured on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. Now, moving on to the other screenshot that Rockstar provided on the Newswire featuring cars, it's this Obey vehicle right here. And I think we can all safely say that this is based off of the Audi e-tron. So a couple things about this, we can see that it is a four-door sports car, most likely. It's also going to be a fully electric vehicle. Rockstar is not shy adding fully electric cars into the game. From this screenshot right here, we can see that it is really souped up. So it wouldn't be shocking if this was one of the HSW vehicles or if this is an option for Benny. It, it takes place on the Newswire right next to a paragraph where they're talking about new tuner vehicles and Benny's original motor work expanding his selection of cars as well as how having new rides coming this summer. We know there's going to be two house special works vehicles so this definitely could be one of them you guys can see the massive spoiler on the back you can also see the rear bumper upgrades skirt upgrades and front bumper upgrades so a lot going on on this car it also looks like it is very heavily stanced so lots of upgrades going on uh, for this audi sports car the e-tron uh, and i would assume this obey vehicle is also going to be on the Legendary Motorsports site. And you know how much Rockstar likes to fully price out electric cars, so I would not be shocked at all if this is incredibly expensive. So that's the news wire right there. Now we can actually dive 
into the trailer and there's a lot to look at right here. So the first thing we see from the trailer is a brand new helicopter. And I'm not super into aircrafts and helicopters, but this does look like the MD-900, which is a helicopter from the James Bond movie, 007, Die Another Day. So if it looks familiar to you, that's what it is probably based off of. Again, it looks like it is a four-seater helicopter at least. It also looks like it has repelling bars too, which would be interesting. That's a feature we can kind of use in GTA Online, but you have to have like a special helicopter come in. So being able to repel straight from a helicopter that you own, that could actually be pretty neat. That's the first vehicle we see. The second vehicle and third vehicle we see, we get this a new look at the Dodge Monaco right here. And we also get a look at the Sentinel Classic. This looks like it's going to be a new Benny-fied version because we're getting a look at the Benny rims right there and we're also getting a look at a wide body upgrade for it as well as a brand new livery so it looks like some existing cars as Rockstar said are going to be getting some new upgrades and modifications and you guys can see here on our Bravado Dodge Monaco some upgrades to it as well like the different colored top You've got the nice livery on there, custom rims, a different bumper, different spoiler. On the hood of this vehicle, there's a triple bug catcher. So lots of customization, it looks like, are going to be on all of these vehicles. Now, the next screenshot with vehicles has to do with our auto dealerships that are going to be added into the game where we can test drive and buy cars right on the spot. And it looks like the two vehicles that are featured right now are an upgraded, or I would say HSW version of the Gratti Turismo R. It has a couple of new customization options on there, like a different livery with that white stripe and a really unique looking spoiler. So that's pretty cool. And we get a brand new look at one of our new cars coming, the Audi e-tron. So it's going I don't know what it's gonna be called, Obey something, but you guys can see it here, white with the black stripe livery. You can see it also has some various customizations on there, like different hood scoops and vents on the side. This is gonna be a really cool car. I'm so excited to get such a clean look at this vehicle. It's definitely the one that we get the, the best look at. So even though the Turismo R isn't new, it looks like it's definitely going to have some new upgrades to it. So that's pretty exciting. The next shot we actually get is a vehicle that I was kind of confused about, but upon doing some more research, it looks like this is based off of the Chevy Sema concept. It's a heavily modified four-door off-road concept by Chevrolet. This thing is a beast. It's like the ultimate off-road vehicle. And so Rockstar have turned this Silverado concept into a vehicle that we're going to be able to own in GTA Online. If I was a betting man, again, I'm going to say off-road, four-seater, probably available on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. You can also see how much customization this has with exhaust and snorkels and different doors and different accessories that we're gonna be able to put on the bumper and the hood. This thing is loaded to the max, that's for sure. So that's the vehicle that can be seen here. I have no idea what the vehicle is behind. You guys can maybe let me know what you think that is in those comments down below. Now, there was a handful of older vehicles that were featured here, like speedboats and helicopters. We're going to try and focus just on the new ones. And that takes us to this scene right here, where we can actually see three of our brand new cars. So let's go in order to the ones closest to us. The purple vehicle right here is another new Obey vehicle. This is going to be a Generation 3 version of the Audi R8, or as we know in game, the Obey 9F. So this is gonna be an upgraded version of that. That looks absolutely incredible. You can see in this beautiful purple color with some nice customization and underglow on the backhand side. The green vehicle in the middle, that is our brand new Pegasi supercar, the Terrana. We get a look from that from the back and from the front. It looks like it's got a nice clean spoiler option on there and some quad exhaust. That looks really cool. And our vehicle in the front that we only see from this back shot right here, that is the Benefactor vehicle, the McLaren Sterling Moss. So I'm really excited about all three of our vehicles here. Since this is our first look at the new Obey 9F, again, I would assume that this is going to be another two-door. It's going to be featured on the Legendary Motorsports site and is probably going to be in the sports car class. So those are three brand new vehicles in action right there. 
Our next new vehicle looks like it's straight out of Mad Max. This looks like the BF Weevil Rat Rod. Look how big those back tires are. Lots of cool customization too, like that skull on the hood livery, the red headlights. This is insane. Look at the bumper guard on the front. This is wild. I don't know if this is going to have any armored or weaponized capabilities here. So this is where I'm kind of split on. I think this could be muscle or off-road. I also think this could be on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site, or it could be on the Warstock Cash and Carry. Again, depending on how weaponized this whole thing is. It looks really crazy, that's for sure. Let's move on to our final couple of vehicles here. I think in this Cayo Perico shot, we're looking at our brand new Chevy SUV. It kind of looks like it's an off-road race, but I can't tell for sure if there are more vehicles or if that was the only one that was shown off. And then we get a look at a car that I feel like a lot of people are going to be excited about, and that is a brand new current generation Chevy Camaro. So it can be seen in this car chase scene right here with the really simple but clean blue stripe livery. You can see a nice big hood upgrade there. It's being chased by the police. With this guy, I think it's safe to say this is going to be a two-door muscle car that will likely be featured on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. So all in all, we're looking at about 10 to 12 new vehicles here, and that's definitely not going to be all of them. So the fact that we got that many just shown off in the trailer means that there's a lot more on the way. We know that there's going to be new Benny's cars. We know that there's going to be new Amani Tech vehicles, Hal Special Works Auto Shop cars. We also know that existing vehicles are going to be getting current upgrades and modifications. So there's going to be a lot more on the way here. And so far, I'm really impressed with the lineup of vehicles that Rockstar have shown us. So I can't wait to see what else they have planned in terms of vehicles. But I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below, which is your favorite vehicle of all the ones we looked at in this video today. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.